Hi everyone, I'm Marjolein and I'm a rider for Drops Local supported by Tempur. I'm also a physical therapist for Cycling Lab. In this video I will be showing you a short mobility training, so a stretch routine will, which will take about 7-8 to eight minutes. The routine is focused mainly on cyclists and if you want to know more about mobility training and cycling, I can refer you to a link down below which I explain more about all of this stuff in another video. You can do the stretch before your training, after your training, or just to improve your mobility in general. So yeah, let's get started. We start in a standing position and slowly start moving forward, bending over forward and trying to move your hands down to the ground with keeping your knees extended. Try walking your hands towards the end of the mat. Now we are going to have a calf stretch, so you want to extend one leg and really push that heel into the ground. And as you are doing that with the one leg, the other leg is bending a bit to give it some room. And then you switch legs. So now we go into a plank position and drop straight down into a cobra, which means that you drop your pelvis down to the ground lay your legs flat on the ground and try to relax them as you extend your low back and push up on your upper body. What you want to do is make sure that your shoulders are relaxed, that you're able to breathe properly and that you really want to feel it in your low back. Now we go into child's pose which means that you put your knees on the outside ends of your yoga mat, put your heels together and Move your glutes backwards all the way down to your heels. Extend your arms, extend your shoulders and you can feel it mainly in your upper body but also in your glutes and in your hip. So now we're going to go into a kneeled position. You're going to move your right leg forward. Put your foot on the ground and bend your knee and your left knee will be on the ground and you're going to be in a uh, lunge position. You're going to reach your hands above your head and really extend your torso and move your pelvis forward. You're going to feel the stretch in your hip flexor on the left side. Now you're going to put your left hand on the ground and raise your right hand above your torso in the same line as the rest of your shoulders. Put the right hand on the right knee and just push it outwards a bit just to that you can feel a bit of a stretch in the glutes, in your groin and on your hamstring. Don't overdo it. Now we're going to go into a pigeon stretch, which means that you want to put your lower leg onto the ground. Going to have a high pigeon, which means that you are lifted up and your extended arms into a straight position. We're, now we're going to go into a low pigeon, which means that you want to bend your elbows and put your underarms onto the ground. If this is not possible, just try to go as low as is possible for you. Don't feel the need to be overdoing it. So now we're going to repeat the same things on the other side. So we're going to start with a lunge position. Now with the left leg forward. So you're going to feel the stretch on the right side on the hip flexors. Really extend those arms and make sure that your whole torso is extended. We're going to put the right hand down on the ground and raise the left hand in one straight line with the other arm and shoulders. We're going to come down with both hands, put the left hand on the left knee and just push it outwards just a tiny bit just to feel that stretch on there 
Don't push too hard. Now we're going to go back into that pigeon, lay the lower leg down on the mat. Try to get the position that's comfortable for you. Extend the other leg backwards. Gonna hold a high pigeon and then go to a low pigeon. For the low pigeon, you can also use blocks, yoga blocks, to just get a bit more height um, and to not overdo it. So we're going to put both feet together in a seated position and you want to try and push your knees towards the ground. You can help your knees to just push on it with your elbows, but the main focus will be to extend the torso, really have a straight posture. You want to keep your shoulders relaxed and that will be the main thing. You can feel it in your groin, in your adductors, in your hamstrings maybe a little bit. So the next one we're going to do is we're going to extend the leg outwards in a seated position. You can use the other leg to just, you can lay it wherever you want, wherever you feel comfortable. But the main focus will be to really extend that leg outwards to feel the stretch in the groin, in the adductors. We're going to do this on the other side too. And just hold this position. Make sure that your torso is as much straight as you can get it. So don't lean into it on the other side. If you lean in on it too much, you won't feel the stretch. So make sure your torso is all straight. We're going to do a seated quad stretch, which will mean you put the quad that you want to stretch your heel as much towards your glute as possible. You're going to leave it there or you can hold it there. The other leg is extended. And you're going to hang back in the same line as the quad that you're trying to stretch. So as you can feel that as you're falling back more and more, you're getting more and more stretch on that quad. So we're going to finish off with just a sitting position with both legs extended. I'm just going to do a toe, toe touch. This is a nice way if you're stretching over a longer period of time just to see how much mobile you're getting. Um, for some people a toe touch is a really nice measurement of mobility and it's just a good way to end your stretch. So this was it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see anything more, just subscribe to my channel or follow me on Instagram. If there's anything you want to see next, just let me know. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.